Kasi nga, ang business model naman ng Axie Infinity is play to earn. Assuming na hindi talaga magsara itong game na to or yung Sky Mavis, those people who created the game, may way pa rin para makuha mo uli yung pera mo. It's just that it's a question of when. You can get the ROI or you can get your capital in a span of 3 months. Or when I did my numbers, it can be a maximum of 16 years. Hey, hey, hey! This is Jay, and welcome to the latest episode of Parent Papers Podcast, a show about money and meaning. My aim is for you to use money as a tool to live a meaningful life. Yon, so we are on another segment ni Kuya Jay. Ang, pinangamat, ang title na itong ating segment is Hey Kuya Jay, wherein we will talk about yung mga commonly asked questions na nakukuha ko sa social media and sa mga friends na rin or fellow OFs dito sa UAE and other parts of the world. So, second week of this month, second or first week of this month. Yeah, I think it's the second week of this month. Um, Bumili ako or finally I started investing sa cryptocurrency and after four years of research and asking people who are credible enough to take uh, to, to talk to me or teach me about uh, investing in uh, cryptocurrencies, I decided na bumili ng Ether which is the cryptocurrency of the Ethereum blockchain. So the reason behind that is because naniniwala ko dun sa capability na tong technology na to to change the world. <laughs> oh, grabe. And this is all about, or mainly about, smart contracts. And maram, matutulungan neto ang industry na I'm really involved at, which is real estate and also uh, personal finance or the financial services industry. Kasama dito sa Ethereum technology is yung improvement ng maraming bagay, lalong lalong tong NFT, aka non-fungible tokens, aka Proof of ownership of your digital asset. Ayan. It's very popular right now sa arts, sa sports. And eto na, yung video games na mayroong play-to-earn na business model. So, dito sa ating segment na to, ang, uh, ang unang tanong na gusto kong sagutin is, eto, Kuya Jay, should I resign and play Axie Infinity full-time? Oh, <laughs> grabe, diba? Pero ano lang to, um, pahapyaw lang kasi meron akong i-interviewin or meron akong i-guest in the future, in the next coming weeks na talagang into Axie Infinity for how many months? Ha? Three months? Pero meron na siyang 50 teams. Sila pala, silang mag ay meron ng Axie Management Services. Ganun na nag-evolve in a very quick span of time. Pero dito sa particular episode na to, sasagutin lang natin kung pwede ka na ba talaga mag-resign and maglaro ng Axie Infinity or siguro any other play to earn na mga laro right now. Oh, by the way ha, si Kuya Jayden is currently involved dito sa Axie Infinity kasi nga, naglagay ako ng pera doon and mahaba-habang pag-aaral din ginawa ko para lang malaman if it's something na para sa akin. Okay, kasi nga, Bago tong technology na to, wala pang kakaroon na itong uh, ganitong klaseng mga, mga laro. And alam nyo naman na very conservative ko in terms of my investments. And I think ito na nga yung pinaka-risky na nilagyan ko ng pera. And I, I don't actually uh, look at this as an investment. It's more of a way of supporting my uh, my love for video games. It's more on proving to people na you can actually make money from playing your favorite games. And nung bata ko, I was actually thinking of it that way na what if kaya, no, yung paborito kong laro, like when I was in college, yung, yung Dota, na baka kahit pa paano pwede akong kumita doon. Or if I'm playing yung Counter-Strike, yung mga lumang version pa, CS 1.3, probably sa mga in-game missions or mga in-game tournaments na pwede kong salihan. And unfortunately, nung panahon ko, wala namang ganun. Hindi naman talaga po pwede na kumita doon sa esports unless talagang you are highly skilled. Eh, kaya lang si Kuya Jay is only a mediocre player sa, sa, sa CS and sa Dota. Pero I, I, I really love playing those games kasi 
nakakapag-isip ako strate- strategically and I think ha yung mga mga larong nilaro ko even when I was a little younger like yung mga role playing games help me sa pakikipag-communicate nagkakaroon ako ng mga additional knowledge na hindi ko nababasa elsewhere so ayun nga fast forward 2021 nagkaroon na ng opportunity to make money by simply playing your favorite games. So, dito sa Axie Infinity, you don't actually put money that you are willing to lose. Kasi nga marami nagsasabi na you only put the money that you can afford to lose. Pero in reality, ang human brain doesn't want us to lose. So, bakit ka pa nag-invest? If, di ba, mawala din lang yung pera mo. So, dito, ang, ang mindset ko when I placed my money sa Axie Infinity is to only put the money that I'm comfortable playing with. Kasi nga, ang business model naman ng Axie Infinity is play to earn. So, assuming na hindi talaga magsara itong game na to, or yung Sky Mavis, th- those people who created the game, may way pa rin para makuha mo uli yung pera mo. It's just that it's a question of when. So, pwedeng you can get the ROI or you can get your capital in a span of three months. Or when I did my numbers, it can be a maximum of 16 years. So, ganun siya ka, kagrabe. So, if you're willing to take that particular chance, then again, you have to run your numbers. And hindi ito advisable to many people. You don't put your emergency fund here. You only put the money that you're comfortable playing with. Okay? So, yan. Now, going back dun sa question natin for today. Should I resign and play Axie Infinity full-time? So, hmm. Ano ba? <laughs> Parang napaisip din ako kung magre-resign. Kung maganda, since maganda talaga yung bigayan ngayon. And some people are saying that they can earn 2000 a day. So currently, uh, this is recorded July 22. SLP is at 14 pesos. 14.18. Now, SLP is the currency or cryptocurrency sa mundo ng uh, Axie Infinity and usually maximum na SLP per day is 150. So, kung let's say end of the month, tapos ka, you play this 30 days for 5 na SLP. So, if 14 pesos pa rin siya, times 14, yan no, 63,000 ang pwedeng kitain every month. Which is actually a good number na, a good amount of income if you are in the Philippines. And kahit yata nasang, ano kayo, nasa, <laughs> kahit sa UAE kayo, divide by 13 mo yan. 63, divide by 13, that's already 4,800 dirhams. Ayan. So, pinapakita ko sa screen if you're watching this sa YouTube channel. So, there's actually a good amount of money that you can earn from this game. Pero, should you really go and uh, resign and bag full time ka para lang laruin ito ang Infinity. Nung inisip ko to, naalala ko yung time when Grab Taxi was new sa sa Pinas. And ang daming mga kakilala ko na naging operator kagad ng uh, ng Grab Mar- or yung iba naging Grab drivers. So may iba kasi na kumikita ng 63,000 per month and iba mas mataas pa. So, ang ginawa nila is by, they, nag-resign din sila, tapos naging full-time sila na uh, grab driver. And unfortunately, dumami rin yung mga Filipinos na nag-start or gumaya na itong, uh, marami rin naging mga grab operators. So, ano nangyari? Bumaba yung uh, naging monthly income nitong mga grab operators hanggang umabot sa point na hindi na siya ganun ka-profitable. And pagka may nagsasabi nga sa akin na gusto nila mag-resign dahil gusto nila mag-full time sa Axie, eto yung lagi ko naiisip na ngayon kasi hype na hype itong laro na to. And kapag nag-die down itong hype na to, most likely, di ba, yung kinikita natin or kinikita sa Axie may not be the same kasi nga, again, nakadepende ito dun sa amount ng SLP. And if maraming players... And meron din mga breeders na, ewan ko, depende to. Kaya may part to, that, may part to talaga tong Axie discussion na to. Kasi nga, I'll be speaking with 
uh, the experts dito sa part na to. Kasi bago pa lang din ako. And as I am telling you this based on what I understand currently and based din dun sa mga na-experience ko na mga other investments in the past. So, yan, going back nga, na yung kinikita kasi sa na sa, sa aksi nakadepende again sa price ng SLP. Now, what if, di ba, biglang nag-plummet yung uh, price ng SLP? So, what if instead of 14 pesos, bumalik ito dun sa lowest niya, which is 16 cents. Ganun siya kababa. And like what I said kanina, yung ROI mo can be from 3 months to 16 years. And what if talagang hindi na siya ganun ka-valuable? Marami nang naglalaro ng ibang play-to-earn na mga games. Diba? So, it can definitely affect yung income mo by playing, um, yung income mo from playing such uh, such games. Like Axie, right now. So, yun ang, yun ang risk mo doon. And number two is, kailangan mo rin malaman na ano yung trade-off dito sa ginagawa mo. Kasi sa current na job mo, you're probably learning new skills and becoming more marketable sa job market. By being unique, by earning experience sa current role mo, it can help you become more promotable, probably. Now, you can become the expert or a specialist in whatever it is that you're doing. You are developing high-income skills when you stick to your current role. Or baka naman gusto mo mag-shift ng role. So, doon, meron ka pa rin naman matututunan na ibang bagay that can probably help you earn a better living than whatever it is that you're doing right now. Ngayon, if you resign and play axi. Ang question ko doon is, are you spending your time in learning profitable skill sets or high income skill sets? So, yung bang paglalaro ng Axi is a high income skill. And nung tinry ko siyang laruin, parang 5-10 minutes ko lang siya nilaro. Sabi ko parang kahit grade 6 hanggang college, kaya kaya siyang laruin, hindi kailangan ng sobrang um, ano ba, hirap na skill na kailangang aralin just to play the game. Kailangan mo lang siya aralin ng mga siguro one or two days pumakuha mo ng gameplay niya. Hindi naman ganun kahirap i-earn yung 150 SLP. It will just consume, kung bago ka pa lang, it will consume probably six hours of your life <laughs> just to earn that 150 SLP. Pero eventually daw, okay, ito yung based on mga experience ng mga matagal ng lalaro. Pag tumas na yung level ng aksi mo, then mas nadali mo nang ma-earn yung SLP. Probably an hour or two daw, pwede na. Goods ka na doon. Uh, by, by doing this particular thing, by playing Axie, wala naman ako nakita na relevant na skill set that will make me become more profitable in the future. Or probably people will hire me to play the game, ewan ko, if there will be such a need for that. Kasi right now, sobrang dami ng players na pwede namang maglaro na lang if they have or they gain the access. And then, siguro nakita ko ditong skill na pwede kong um, matutunan would be entrepreneurial skill set. Ito yung if ever na mag-decide ako na hindi ako maging player but rather the manager or the investor. And then I'll decide on how I can grow this particular team na ibibuild ko. If magiging sustainable talaga yung um, economy ng AXI. So, yan yung mga questions na nakapending sa akin, which is I will also ask sa aking magiging guests sa, uh, sa future weeks in terms of this particular subject. So again, number two is yung trade-off. Tingnan mo if dito sa gagawin mo na to, may matututunan ka bang bago or uh, will it give you the opportunity to earn or learn high income skill sets. And based on what I've found, based on my experience dito sa game na to, I don't think I will if I'm going to be the one who's going to play that game for, let's say, an hour or two of my life. <laughs> Every day, ganun siya. So, isipin mo yun. Kasi sa isang oras, sa dalawang oras, ang dami mo nang pwedeng matutunan eh. And pwede mo sabihin, maliit lang, saglit lang naman yun eh. Pero hindi, I mean, Yung maliit na oras na yan, may ising oras na yan, it will compound eventually. Like right now, I'm learning new skill sets, new knowledge, and uh, things 
na natututunan ko every day by watching videos to help me become a better content creator or a marketer as well or a salesperson sa ginagawa ko. And I'm allotting an hour every day to learn that particular skill. So isipin mo lagi yung trade-off kasi investment mo rin dito is your time. Siguro one of the best ways to learn if this is worth your time is i-calculate mo yung hourly rate mo and i-compare mo siya doon sa kinikita mo sa aksi. So yon i-check mo yon para lang malaman mo if baka naman mas malaki kinikita mo dito. Pero again, over the long term, it would always be better if you're using your time to engage in activities that will help you learn high profitable or high income skill sets. And one other tip that I should probably tell you is wag kang maggawa ng decision based on emotions kasi currently marami talagang mga nag uh, nagli-leave ng kanilang trabaho because of uh, sudden burst of emotions. So, ma- ma- mahirap kapag ganun and hindi natin nak- nakikita yung numbers or hindi natin naran yung ating numbers if it is a rational move to do such things. Kasi pwedeng sawang-sawa na tayo dun sa ginagawa natin and since nagkaroon na itong opportunity na to na mas madaling kumita at mas malaki yung kitaan, then baka immediately bigla tayong mag-jump pupunta dun sa opportunity na yun without actually without actually thinking through about that decision. So, yon ang talagang kailangan natin pag-isipang mabuti. So again, wait lang. Just to answer the question, summarize my answer. Mag-resign ka ba to play Axie full-time? My answer is no. You have to be very careful of the trade-offs na gagawin mo. Okay. So yung sumunod na pag-usapan natin dito sa, sa segment na to is yung ating company of the month. Ayan. Tagal ko na itong gustong gawin. And uh, hopefully, it will also help so many people na, or especially mga Filipinos na maintindihan yung mga investments na pinapasok nila. Kasi again, si Kuya Jay ay na-scam din nung kanyang first year as an overseas Filipino. And ayoko mangyari sa inyo kasi nga nakakahiya. And <laughs> pangalwa, sayang yung pera. So, mayroong kumakalat na may umabot sa aking balita na may isang company dito na nangingi ng investment sa mga overseas Filipinos dito sa Middle East, okay? Ito yung Massa Forex General Trading, UAE. I think a couple of months ago, may nabasa akong post about Massa Mart. M-A-S-A M-A-R-T. Parang pangalan palang masama na, no? Massa Mart. And nung nakita ko tong page ng Massa Forex General Trading, katulad din siya nung logo or nung um, ano ba? Nung, o oh, kamukhang kamukha siya nung Massa Mart na, na logo. So, nandito ko, i-share ko yung screen ko para makita ninyo yung kanyang page. Ayan. So, eto yan. May malaking heart ang kanilang cover. Kailang cover page. And then, financial service daw sila. So, habang tinitingnan ko tong page na to, MASAFT is a market web-based trading platform empowering people who joined Trades, the most reliable, secure, and safe platform. Mass of the life-changing opportunity has spread help to people and gain. Okay, so my link sila dito, www.massof.com. I think this is a referral link. So click natin yan. Ayan, so immediately hindi siya gumagana. So tina natin, punta tayo doon sa massof.com. Kung ano mang laman na ito. Okay, looks like hindi rin siya gumagana. Alright. Chineck ko na lang din sila online. So, ginugil ko. Ayan. Masta Forex. And ang unang lumabas is of course yung Facebook page nila. And then, if you look further sa kanilang page, makikita ka dito na, ayan, so may mga events na sila dito sa UAE. They mentioned ito, Welcome to the World of XUM. So XUM is a coin, cryptocurrency coin that they are promoting. And tingnan natin ang XUM. So una mo makita na link uh, maliban sa videos is yung announcement ng SEC. Ito yung advisory nila. Na ni-release lang itong June 21 of this year. <sighs> Ayan, some token, some coin. Now XUM slash USDT slash bot 
Ah, uh, dami nilang pangalan. I mean, may some coin pa, may some X, uh, World Crypto Asset Exchange, some Exchanger and some Exchange LTD. And dito rin yung Massamart Forex General Trading, Massam Massa Forex General Trading LLC, Massamart Forex General Trading LLC slash you. Ah, ito. Massamart Forex General Trading LLC hyphen UAE, also known as Massa Forex, some Exchange LTD. Uh, XUM Foundation are not registered as a corporation or partnership with the commission and have no secondary license to solicit, accept, or take investments slash placements from the public. So, ito, nakikita nyo itong, if, if, if papanood mo to sa, sa YouTube, sa channel ko, nakikita nyo itong sinishare ko na screen, okay? So, binabasa ko lang ngayon yung announcement ng SEC nitong uh, June, June, June 21 of this year about dito sa nakita kong or na-report sa akin na uh, scam company which is yung Massamart General Trading nga. Ito, agents and promoters of some or XUM token and some coin represent that they are currently worth 5 pesos with the promise of an increase in value of up to 50 pesos to 70 pesos by next year. Proponents also affirm that staking some token or some coin generates 6% or 15% reward respectively. So, naalala ko 2018, there was this guy na pumunta dito sa UAE and nag-promote din siya ng kanyang coin. And yun yung mga panahon na nabalitaan ko na yung Bitcoin and I think, pat oo, ma mataas na yung Bitcoin back then. Na sa 20K na ata siya nung, nung time na yun. And, since ako nga, na-experience ko may scam, um, hindi ko talaga naintindihan paano nila nava-value or nagagarantee yung value ng kanilang digital coin upon its ICO or initial coin offering. And ganitong-ganito yung um, pin-resent sa akin na, or sa amin, na mga nahihikahit na umatin nung, uh, nung seminar or event niya na yun, na after na ma-launch nitong coin niya yung value niya is mas magiging mataas na so para siyang ginarantiya niya na para siyang real estate na pre-selling tapos pag naitayo yung property mag mag-i-increase agad yung value no so sa real estate nangyayari yon pero sa ganitong digital coin na walang hindi mo alam kung paano nila na-value yung kanilang currency is talagang hindi ka panipaniwala so, ayun, fast forward, uh, may binalikan na akong nag-invest dun sa coin na yon, And sabi niya, hindi na daw natuloy yung launch ng coin and yung in-invest niya na pera. Although hindi naman ganun kalakihan, pero nag-invest pa rin siya. Hindi niya na nabawi, hindi niya na nakuha yung coin na yon. So, eto rin yung pattern netong some coin. And they guarantee yung returns na above market average. So, dito palang shady na. So, nakalagay din dito sa article ng SEC na it must be emphasized that some token and some coin are not included among the list of the generally accepted virtual currencies posted on the World Coin Index and Coin Market Cap websites as acknowledged in the website or as acknowledged dun sa website nila na www.sumx.info. So to date, Massamart's XUM token and some coin are not convertible to cash, unlike those cryptocurrencies traded through licensed digital asset exchanges or virtual asset service providers regulated by the Banco Central ng Pilipinas. So it's a huge warning for us na umiwas sa Massamart and sa mga businesses na pinut up nila. Kasi if you also check earlier this year, meron silang announcement na ayan. May warning sila sa public regarding sa pag invest sa Massamart Business Center or MMBC. So magkasanga-sanga yan ang pinaka mother na um uh, company nila is itong Massamart and sabi dito sa article na binabasa ko on my screen, Massamart was found to be offering a subscription and gains program under which a member may invest at least 
1,250 pesos to 500 million pesos. Grabe, di ba? In exchange for returns of 2,746 to about 11.65 billion, depending on the lock-in period. Whew. So this entails an interest of up to 30% per month or up to 2,561.81% per year. Diba? So it's outrageous. Imposible talaga magkaroon ng gantong klase ng investment. Tsura pa lang, scam na, tatakbo ka na. Again, how do you spot a scam? Is number one, if a person is urging you to invest your money na ginagaranti nila na mayroong malaking return at a short period of time and nagagaranti sila na wala itong risk or kung mayroong risk, konti lang sabihin nila. So, if you're being offered by that particular person na ganito yung nature ng investment na hinihikayat ka or na pinapakuha sa'yo, then it's a signal na most definitely 99.19% It's a scam company. And you better run. Better run. Kasi kung hindi, mawala, mawala ang pera mo. So, ayan ang ating scam of the month. Again, this is Masa Forex General Trading or some coin or Masa Mart or Masa Token or ano ba? Some Token. So, mag-ingat tayo dito mga kabayan. So, If you want to further uh, understand itong um, kanilang scheme, you can just go and Google. <laughs> Napakadaling i-Google na ito. Type nyo lang Masa Forex or Masa Mart or XUM. Ang dami ng mga articles online that will tell you na this is a huge scam. Alright? If you want to learn more about ways on how you can look for or check if a company is a company, you can check this Facebook group called Anti-Scammer League. Yan. Or ASL. Kung saan dinidiscuss dito yung mga scams na papasulpot pa lang para maiwasan mo na na may scam. Ito mga to. Kasi nga, again, itong panahon na to, lalo na ngayong pandemic, maraming mga nagsulputan na Magpa-promise sa'yo ng instant returns, guaranteed na uh, return on your money. And yung mga tao na talagang apektuhan ng pandemic are the ones who are vulnerable and madaling mahihikayat kasi nga kapit na sila sa patalim eh. And they would tend to do some shortcuts sa kanilang buhay, sa kanilang finances just to make sure na maitawid lang yung pamilya nila sa hardships na dinadala or epekto na itong pandemic. So, again, it's your money, so it's your responsibility. Pero ginawa ko itong program na to, to raise awareness na makaiwas kayo sa scams. Kasi I've been there, mahirap, nakakahiya, and nakakalungkot, at magastos. So, I wish na gamit ko yung pera na yun para invest to somewhere na mas talagang profitable. So, again, punta kayo dito sa Anti-Scammer League ASL. Ginawa to ni JC Calventos. Shout out sa'yo, bro, and thank you for this initiative na... Bago pa ma-detect ng SEC, pwede nyo na silang makita dito pa lang sa grupo na to. And uh, a lot of people who are engaging in this group are also telling us or will tell the members kung ito bang nakita mong investment scheme online or kung nai-refer ka ng kaibigan mo, office mate mo, or kapamilya mo, is legit ba or not. So, ayan. Visit nyo na itong page na to or group na to and makita-kita tayo doon. Discuss nyo yung mga bagay na sa tingin nyo or i-report nyo dito yung mga businesses na you think is shady or scammy. Ayan. Kung sa tingin mo scam pa niyan, ilagay mo dito sa ESL, Anti-Scammer League. And also, um, nagawa na rin ako ng community page for Purpose Driven Finance or sa ating podcast. Named it, ano ba, Pera and Purpose Community. Napakahirap, no? Pero if uh, you want to join the community, that is promoting financial independence, financial literacy, personal development, and purposeful living, then you have to join this community. Yon, so that wraps our episode for today. Sana may natutunan ka sa ating discussion if you are trying or if you, if you are thinking about leaving your job and 
playing Axe Infinity full time. Huwag muna, okay? Paraling mabuti, run your numbers. And isipin mo ang trade-off na papasukin mo. And pangalwa is we also talked about yung company of the month, which is yung Massa Forex General Trading UAE. Or Massa Forex or some coin or some token. And ano ba? Pangalan niya, Massa Mart. Yung pinaka company niya. And um, again, sana maka-join kayo dun sa community na sinabi ko. So that we can uh, help each other in promoting financial literacy and makaiwas sa mga scams. And also, if meron ka mga questions na you want to address or gusto mong sagutin ko, i-message mo lang ako sa aking Facebook page ayan, or sa aking LinkedIn. And before I let you go, I hope you guys can listen to the other episodes of Para and Purpose Podcast on Spotify and other podcast streaming platforms. And if you prefer to watch the video version of this episode, go to my YouTube channel, Hey Kuya J. Ayan. And if you want to schedule a financial coaching session with me, message me on my LinkedIn and sa aking Facebook page na Purpose Driven Finance. Once again, ito ulit Kuya J, telling you to prosper with a purpose. See you sa ating next episode.